Because I, I just, I find that I, I value certain differences with friends. Mm -hmm. But if I have a friend who can't be anti-racist, I can't be friends with them. <laughs> that maybe it's your friend at work. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, but that's, right? that's a, maybe it's that person that you're sharing yeah. more time and you love to be with when you are in a work, a work environment. Because. I have colleagues at work, and I have many colleagues that I get along with very well. Mm -hmm. But I'm also, like you say, like I'm a different person at work than I am exactly. in real life. Exactly. <laughs> If you meet me in that place, I might be very different yeah. you know, than um, the person I'm going to be with. Uh, I'm going to be if I am like with my journalist friends or you know politic friends yeah. or you know feminists you know we might it's i'm the same person but i'm not showing this the same side welcome back <laughs> <laughs> people we are so happy to be here first of all sorry for the last time because we haven't published anything this is life it happened mm -hmm. we didn't have um, the occasion to record anything but here we are back so welcome again to our show i'm pam i'm Corey. and we are the feminist family exactly so if you haven't yet subscribed this is the moment to subscribe <laughs> and <laughs> so that you can find our show we are uh, recording every two weeks that's the plan yeah yes and we have tonight our very special guest because <laughs> we absolutely had to come and brag and say how happy we are to have a new member in our feminist family mm -hmm. so this is Never. It's never, never, never is already a star. And uh, never is 10 weeks. Yeah. Um, she been with us since um, two weeks now. And we love her a lot. The thing that you need to understand is that I tried a lot to call her a he. But it's something that my mind is not doing. I'm misgendering. <laughs> <laughs> never a lot. Never was born a boy. But we made uh, a girl. We don't really. We're not really worried about it. That's, I don't think the dog cares. <laughs> I don't think that she cares. So um, we get used to it. But she's pretty nice. And we are very happy to have never in our family. Yeah. Yep. So, um, we're not going to be talking about Neva all the time. She might be <laughs> trouble as usual as all puppies. But hey, we decided that tonight we were going to talk about... Friendship. Friendship. Who doesn't have any friends? <laughs> well, I don't have a whole lot, but I have a few. I used to be having a lot, a lot of friends, but... And the more I grow up, the more I see the numbers getting reduced. I have more people I know, people I share um, part of my life, people yeah. I share um, some passions or um, activities. Um, but the kind of friendship that I used to have a long time ago, where a friend will, will be like... Around all the time. Uh, yes, around all the time, and um, yeah. it would be the kind of friend I would be talking about almost everything. I guess the more I grow up, the more... Um, you are my friend. Yeah. He's my friend. He's my <laughs> best friend. <laughs> he's my partner, but he's also my friend. He's the one who's going to be listening and uh, participating in everything that I'm doing, and, um, and it's okay. So um, we wanted to... Sp talk about discuss uh, friendship yeah um, because um, I uh, recently asked the people who are following me on a uh, Twitter if uh, in a couple we are authorized to have friends that are like for example my friends only but who are not friends with Corey that maybe Corey doesn't know mm -hmm. and um, or if a couple should be should share. Uh, friends, right? Yeah. Majority of people who responded say that it's okay to have um, friends uh, that we are not sharing, 
But there were also some people uh, that say that, no, impossible. And I have some <laughs> friends um, who believe that, who believe that as a couple, we need to be sharing friends. We also have those friends who, those people we know, friends, I guess, uh, who believe that friendship between men and women is not a thing. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard people about that? that. What yeah. are the arguments on that? Uh, I think, I think uh, you can see that often men expect certain things from women. Mm-hmm. And like men, off, like I don't know if it's still a thing, but it used to be a thing where they would complain about being put in the friend zone mm-hmm. with women they were romantically involved with mm-hmm. or interested in, I mean, mm-hmm. uh, where uh, I think a lot of that is just expectations by m- those men saying like, hey, uh, I-, I thought this was a romantic relationship when uh, clearly it wasn't. Or, uh, yeah, I think I think friendship is something that everybody needs to go into with a certain amount of like just openness and like a willingness, like a lack of expectation almost. Mm-hmm. But often people have their own baggage, right? So then you get stuck with like these ideas that you know your friend is attracted to you, and or your 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 male friend was actually just hanging out trying to wait until your relationship ended, but wasn't really your friend and mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. But. They were there for that thing. Yeah. Basically. So what do you believe? Is a friendship something that needs to be uh, cross-gendered? Or um, oh, I think... Should I mean, we... Like, does the gender really... Uh, I is a thing in what, friendship? I think what matters is the honesty, the openness, and the... Whether you have an expectation or not. Mm-hmm. So a man and a woman can be friends... Or a man and a non-binary person, or a, a you know a cis man and a, a trans femme, whatever, can be friends if there's not expectation of romantic involvement or sexual involvement. You can be like just friends that aren't interested in having sex with each other. <laughs> like, but how will you know? Well, you don't. Is there a way you, you can't? Know. You can't read other people's minds. That's right. The thing. But you can only do what you can do to be as honest and and open about how you feel and what you're where you're at. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which is to say, I guess, because when you're having like when you're doing like new friendships, mm-hmm. you're not like, hey, we're not gonna have sex, right? <laughs> at the beginning <laughs> of the friendship, but why? Might... Not, why though? Why? Well, isn't it a way to um, to establish like a sort of boundary? boundary yeah. Um, yeah. Between... I don't. I don't see a problem with that. If that's you know, if you want to do that, and the person you're talking to is open to that, hearing that. But that person will can if if it's a person who is like trying to use your friendship as a way to get to you. I guess you say that they won't. There will not be anything sexual or uh, you know romantic take between you two that person gonna gonna uh, say anyway that nothing will happen because they are to start with they are not being honest right they have something already in their mind so whether you say it or not would that even change a thing yeah it's hard to say like it depends on the people that are involved right every everyone like if you're dealing with a duplicitous person mm-hmm then you're dealing with a duplicitous person who's going to say whatever they want Mm -hmm. or whatever they think it's going to take, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're dealing with an honest person, then they'll be open to hearing certain things and they'll be open to saying, you know, being honest. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of depends on the character of the people involved, I guess. Yeah. I believe it's something that um, everything is based on the person, like, in, in that relationship. Right, um, we should not be basing expectation on the the friend because the friend is just a, a third person in the couple, right? So we do we even have a way to um, say at the beginning that that friend is gonna be someone who is looking for only friendship and not anything else? And what if that person was looking for something else other than you know just friendship? 
I believe that you you don't really have a way to know. You cannot just say. Well, okay, so it's not something that you will see. I got some so friends not, that were that would start as friends, and when the occasion yeah was there, then you would notice that they were there for something else, right? Right. Yeah, which is, I mean, whatever, right? Like our relationship mm -hmm. is our relationship. Right. So that's the only thing we can control. That's it. Yeah. Who we are. Exactly. That's the only thing we can control. Can we control other people? No. And and I don't in our life. And this is where I think sometimes people get the idea like that men and women shouldn't be friends, especially if they're in a couple, they shouldn't have outside friends of mm -hmm. the opposite gender or whatever. What and do you think about it? I think that you're allowed to be, have friends that you know, you may not know what they're thinking. You may not understand, like, they may have duplicitous intentions. Mm -hmm. But you're allowed to have friends of whoever you like to spend time with. And it's between us whether we have a strong enough relationship, you know, and whether or not, you know, that's trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And when we got that conversation uh, regarding whether or not we can have a um, uh, friend outside, you know, of, you know, the friend that we share, mm. um, we understood that it depends of the, you know, of the configuration also of a couple. Yeah. Like, it's something that can possibly, uh, you know, uh, be a thing if, for example, we were, you and me, of same nationality. We were <laughs> having the same passions. Right. Uh, we were sharing, like, a... Um, many like things in our past that would be a thing but could could we have like you and me a, a sort of relationship where we are absolutely obliged to to share our friends is it possible i don't think it's no like no. i don't think it would be even no. a, a thing for us yeah. like uh, how practically would be that i love going out sometimes yeah. i love going nightclub yeah sometimes you don't like it. No, I hate them. Um, <laughs> you know, we have uh, some interests yeah. um, that are very different. Yeah. Right? Um, even friends that are not like, you know, you are from Canada. I'm from Burundi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you like only if... speak English. I speak Kirundi and French. I can have friends who are not even speaking English. Yeah. Right? How yeah, like, practically can we do so that? In a, I don't... Like, in a sense, like, you'd have to... In order for a person, like, to be... Our friends, it needs to be someone who speaks, first of all, English. English very fluently. Very fluently. Um, like... I just... I think of, like... I don't see how it would be possible for us. I think of it, like... Because... I think every person has their own set of interests. Yeah. And like there might be people in your life that you run into that have those interests, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and like, like you say, like you love to dance. I don't. Yeah. So that's not a thing that we can do together. So I should do stop you, dancing. Should you? Ju yeah, exactly. Should you just stop dancing because I don't. Like or you people? would have to dance. Or yeah. Well, what would be so, the easiest even? Like no, <laughs> between no, you? Absolutely not. <laughs> No, it's not fair to say you can't, and it's not. I perhaps I mean, you can't make me, <laughs> right? I, and I think that it would be it would become pretty toxic. Yeah, because if I had to be with you each time I was going out to dance, it would become very toxic because yeah. that's not an environment that you well, and then thrive. That's, that's right. Like I, like I've I've said this before, like. I can't be at the club. Like, it's the lights, the sounds. It gives me a headache. It makes my brain hurt. Me too. And like, I... <laughs> me too, but I'm, I'm dancing all the time when I'm in, so I don't care. Like, uh, And what am I What are, What am I going to do? Sit at the table and watch you dance? Wait for me in the car? Yeah, wait for you in like, the car? No. Tell no. me that it's already time that you did already one hour in and uh, checking your time. Yeah, and, uh, it's time to go. Like, uh, it's time to go. It's time to go. And no, that will be pretty toxic. Like, and we we sort of experimented with that a little bit. We mm -hmm. went out for supper at a place that's a restaurant and becomes a nightclub after. 
Yeah. And when the noise and the music and the lights came on, we need I to had choose. to go sit in the car. And we need to choose who, <laughs> like, are we going home or? Yeah. Or are you torturing yourself? And it's yeah. it doesn't work, no. you know. And um, I have Burundian friends. You can talk with them. You can be like, yeah. Uh, but friendly, friendly, yeah, right? But sure. would you be interested in sitting with us when we are talking about politics and knowing that they are not all gonna be making that effort to keep talking English? And because just you are there. Some right? and sometimes I make the effort. There and we so, are. You and you're doing great. And so, right? but sometimes I can't. I don't have the energy. Yeah. I, you know, and and neither do they. Like mm-hmm. you know, like this is a thing. Like we all have to exa- be where we are. Right? Exactly. <laughs> so, but at the same time, um, I believe that for some couples, this is something that is like a um, feasible. Easily feasible. Sure, like sure. I have, I have this friend. Like uh, uh, she told me that you know, or their friends, like our couples who have kids, when they are going, uh, like they are doing things together. When they are inviting people at their house, they are inviting couples right. who are coming with friends. When they are doing things, like they are with couples, like yeah. And I think, I think, as when you're a divorced person, you experience mm-hmm. this to some extent right like the other Mm. side of it you'll have friends that you had as a couple but then when you're single now they stop inviting you yeah because (laughs) you are not anymore like in the same mood and i understand it i believe that for me friendship is not the more we grow friendship should not something that we see as um a long-term relationship absolutely it's the more we grow up, the more we we have friends for a season, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Because we are going through this, or because you or, know we are passionate in this, or because you know this yeah. is the season, we're gonna have those friends. But we also need to accept that uh, after they the season, go. yeah, they may go and not yeah. keep that. But also, friend, like if you're gonna have a long term relationship or mm-hmm. friendship, then they have to be people that are. Easy going about that sort of thing. Like you can go for coffee once a year, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You maintain. You message each other to check in every now and then. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to be together all the time. All the time. Yeah. It has to be a much more relaxed kind of friendship. Yeah. Which is fine too. Like I find that quite nice. But <laughs> and actually, that's how my most of my friendships are. Is like mm-hmm. long term friends. Like a few long-term friends that I see rarely and I message rarely, but mm-hmm. I still consider them my friends. They consider me their friends. You know, I, I guess unless you count people that I talk to online. I have, a, yeah. I have some online friends. That are... Yeah, yeah. I find that it's a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you stop it. <laughs> You're worse than a child. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I swear having a puppy is like having a baby like <laughs> she's doing nonsense but anyway um, yeah I think that um, friendship is something that we we need to think about you know uh, it and also give it some I know I don't know uh, some grace right yeah don't right. take it like the more I grow up that's how I feel like the more I grow up the more I'm like there are things I'm not anymore expecting from friends. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They um some friends can uh, disappoint me. Oh, for sure. And I found sure. myself going very quickly, you know, closing the season and uh, not keeping like a grant like on them because I'm not expecting um a lot uh from yeah. friends, just friends, you know. I'm Enjoying the time we together, enjoying um, what we are sharing, and be grateful for it. And if the season is done, yep. move to something else. And I'm like, yep. I don't have that much expect- expectation. Um, and friends, like I used to, to. I think that that in general is kind of a key to life in some way. Like it's okay to have expectations. Mm-hmm. But there's a certain thing where, like, 
as long as you're if you if you have expectations that are unrealistic, then you're never going to be happy. <laughs> and, and sometimes it's just better to be happy than to try and reach for things that don't make sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, like, but I guess some people still do have like best friends that they stay with and whatnot, and, and that's fine. But I, I have a lot of like, expectation in our friendship. In our friendship, yeah, yeah, it's something that you know I um I value yeah a lot, and uh, I feel like a uh, I want. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a good idea to have the puppy in the in the. Okay, do you want to go and take her? <laughs> you can take her, but she's making a lot of noise. Okay. It's like a baby, so we just wanted to be with her for this season. But I don't think that we're gonna be having a baby on our discussion love. What do you think? No, we're gonna put her away. Good for her. She's gonna be showing her stuff. Actually, her name is Neva. <laughs> Neva is cuddling. <laughs> okay, Neva is a star. On my Twitter, this is just a dog that is uh, playing a role of, uh, you know, a mental health uh, yeah. provider <laughs> for my community. It's, his name is one of the name of, you know, surname of the president of my country that who upset us a lot. But here is a never that we are all happy. Yeah. So that's what we wanted to talk about. Yeah. Uh, regarding I think, uh, French. What, yeah. We also, I guess we wanted to talk a little bit about, yeah, the couples thing and like long-term friendships. What else was there? Pretty much it? Or? This was uh, pretty much it. Pretty short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something else? Well, I, I don't know. I just... Uh, friendship. Regarding friendship, I guess... It's what works for anybody. Honestly, I don't think that I, our way of considering friendship, friendship is something that could work for everybody. No, that's probably true. But I, and I, I, want, I want people to be, you know, if... Uh, be careful. Because mm-hmm. you don't want to control your partner in a way that is abusive and isolating... Mm-hmm. Even if you, you know, you prefer as a couple to have couple friends, mm-hmm. just be sure that you're not crossing lines of control, right? Yeah. Uh, I think that that's important to mention, like, yeah, because that is a tactic of abusers to yeah. isolate people and eliminate them from their friends. And that's something that you question yourself about, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, yeah, because, I mean... <sighs> All honesty, I get anxious sometimes, and I I have insecurities at times, as anybody would. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so it's like one of these things. Like I don't know any of the people that you're friends with, like mm-hmm. any of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I've met a couple of them like three times or whatever, mm-hmm. and so you go like, well, I I found myself agreeing with you if you were unhappy with someone mm-hmm. or. Uh, you know, or saying like, hey, I don't think that person's being a good friend. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be sure that I'm not crossing that line where I'm like, hey, you can't be friends with this person because I don't want you to be friends with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Like, or, or or even trying to be, you know, manipulative. Like, I don't want to find myself manip- being manipulative mm-hmm. in a way where I, you know, because I feel a certain way. Do you find it healthy in a relationship that to ask a partner to stop being a friend with someone like if well i do if if that friend is actually really toxic or something right <laughs> like i find like there's there's a there's a nuance to it but in mm-hmm. general no i don't think that it is a good idea for me to ask you to stop being friends with someone. And to be uh, like, you're going to have to choose between Absolutely being a not. friend with I, this person or, you know. I uh, do not like ultimatums. Yeah, I don't find <laughs> it's like a, I, I think that, you know, um, even as a couple, we need to uh, leave that decision to the, to the person. Yeah. Because if we are partners, I believe that it's because I am, um, you are a person, I am... Um, I think is an adult mm-hmm. that I hope is thinking 
for themselves, yeah. right? I am expecting that you be able to see that maybe a relationship you're having or friendship that you're having is not good for you, right? Yeah, yeah. If I were uh, to be telling you, okay, now you're going to choose between being a fr friend of that person or me, uh, yeah. it's a boundary that, yeah. you know, it's, it's good to set boundaries, yeah. right? I wouldn't but find I, it right. I would, I would, it's something that I would, I would start to question myself about, like, uh, is our relationship really um, yeah. healthier? Yeah. Are you really the person I would like to be with? If I have to give you an, to, to have a, an ultimatum of, you know, on who you are friend with, even if it's someone who is like a, um, who is of a bad influence. Yeah, I I would think like, I guess it depends on the situation in some ways. Like there are people who have you know really negative influences on those around them, mm -hmm. and and as a result, they can really make you know, help cause others to make bad decisions. Mm -hmm. And and that I don't find to be, you know, a good beneficial friendship. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I just don't ever think that I would ever be in a position where I would say, you have to choose between so-and-so and myself. Yeah. You know? But again, it depends, you know, all couples are not the same. And yeah. uh, some situation it's really hard to say what you would do. Yeah. yeah. If you were in that position. <coughs> it's I really something that I wouldn't want to um, find myself in that situation. In the past, I did. Yeah. In the past, I did. And um, I remember um, telling to my ex-husband um, that you're going to have to choose between like being a friend with that person or being mm. with me. And uh, now, um, you know, that time has won. Like if I had to go back there... I would have a conversation with, with you know, uh, with him, regardless that other friend. Because mm. I'm not in connection with that other friend. Right. You know, I would try to understand what is bothering me exactly and try to say it correctly. <coughs> Instead of telling him, I don't want you to be a friend with that person because that person is a bad influence. Right. Maybe make him understand how... You know how it makes me feel yeah. regarding yeah. our own relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, what like, I'm expecting from yeah. a partner, yeah. you know? Um, it's like they say, like, when you're having the, a better tool for communication is like saying how something affects you, not accusing people and not ultimatums, right? Yeah. Like, so even if you if you want someone, some better resolution than just whatever situation is going on. Then you have to be, like, better at it. You have to say, like, I feel this way when your friend says these things or does these things. Yes. And... When and, you are agreeing with it or when, you, when yeah. you are, like, this is how it makes me feel. Yeah. And is this how you want me to feel? Right, right. You know? Um, and if... Because, yeah. I, I, you know, I think that you love me, right? right. I think that... You are with me because you want me to feel good. And this is how it makes me feel. So are you doing it on purpose? Yeah. yeah. Um, more than, you know, trying to accuse that other person and trying to show my friend, right. like, how bad I think that person is. Yeah, exactly. Because that person is, like, out of our relationship, right? <coughs> well, I'm like, uh, like, in a sense, mm -hmm. we've kind of also had a situation where, like, I don't want to be connected to a person that you recently were friends with. Yeah. And I said, like, straight up, I said, I don't want to be connected to this person and I will do whatever I can to not be. It is up to you how you want to handle your relationship with them. Mm -hmm. And just, I choose not to be around this person. So... If you want to be with them as a friend, that's your call. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I will not be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, so, yeah, there is, a, I guess, a lot to be talking about uh, friendship. But, again, it's always like, how do you feel? How do you feel? It's okay to listen to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's okay to say the way you feel, your partner, and... 
not everybody is good, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and not everybody is fit uh, to you, but you are, you know, you have the right to feel the way you feel like you should never be adapting yourself like in how you feel regarding yeah. uh, any situation, right? Or be afraid to express the way you feel, especially yeah, with like, your partner, right? It is fully okay to feel your feelings and to work through them in a, a healthy way. Mm -hmm. It is a whole other thing if you're like giving people ultimatums and being like, no, you cannot be friends with so and so or whatever, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I think that never was filling um, the whole show <laughs> tonight on our, on our thing. So, um, should we say goodbye? Yeah. I Do guess. you have anything you would like to add on our friendship? I, I don't have anything specific. No, I, I find that in our isolated, atomized society, it's really hard for us to make, you know, sustainable friendships. Um, but it's it's worth it if you can like build a community if you can build a, a, a group of friends mm -hmm. uh, and I mean you know me I've always been I'm always searching for a community of people to spend you know time with that I have mutual interests with yeah and I find that I find it to be a, a worthwhile <laughs> venture even if you only find the occasional person and only spend a little bit of time with them mm hmm mm hmm but yeah. never do I do anything that would jeopardize this friendship because this is the one I value the most. Yeah, thank you. Um, I believe that, you know, um, I'm looking into having, you know, uh, friends um, more uh, in ways, you know, more based on what are we sharing. You know, we have a passion yeah. that we're sharing. We have like a... Um, something that we're sharing to start with, you know, and um, to invest more on that. Um, but I'm not having, you know, an expectation that that friend I'm sharing that specific thing that absolutely I'm going to be sharing all the values or all, all my values or that we're going to be talking about everything that is happening in my life. I'm not taking friends as therapists. <laughs> this is, I think, this is, or, I think, uh, we, have a, we have a slightly different approach to these, to friendships, right? Mm -hmm. Like, where you are looking for friends that you can dance with or do karaoke with or do yeah. fun things and with. And that can be different, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. I'm looking for having friends in derby, friends in dancing, yeah, friends right. in, uh, you know, all yeah. the things I like, but not maybe mixed all, Yeah. yeah. right? And I'm okay with it, yeah. you know, that um, I have like a best friend in going out. You know, <laughs> right. and it's not, it doesn't mean that that friend going to be sharing like my anti-racist views and my feminist views or my, you know, views on the world. Like yeah. we don't, we may not even be talking never, about it. They never discuss the subject. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. and they may know another personality of me mm. and I'm okay with it, you know, um, but if I'm in that context, they are my friend, and whatever I'm going, I'm having friends that may not be connected. Yeah. And I, I'm finding it, you know, okay, I'm not expecting from them to be like my um, soulmate. Right? right, right. That's how I used to be thinking about friendship, like mm. when I was young, but I don't think that it's a healthy way in the world. We live in, you know. It, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, because I, I just, I find that I, I value certain differences with friends. Mm -hmm. But if I have a friend who can't be anti-racist, I can't be friends with them. <laughs> but maybe it's your friend at work. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, but that's, right? that's it. Maybe it's that person that you're sharing yeah. more time and you love to be with when you are in a work, a work environment. environment, you know, my... Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. Because I have colleagues at work and I have many colleagues that I get along with very well. Mm 
Mm-hmm. But I'm also, like you say, like I'm a different person at work than I am exactly. in real life. Exactly. <laughs> if, if you meet me in a, you know, in, I love going out. If you meet me in that place, I might be very different, yeah. <laughs> you know, than um, the person I'm going to be with. I, I'm going to be if I am like with my journalist friends or, you know, politic friends yeah. or, you know, feminists, you know, we might, it's, I'm the same person, but I'm not showing this. The same facade. Yeah. The same facade, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. And I think, yeah, it's similar, I think, because although it's still, I still end up getting into conflicts of con- various kinds because people's bigotries really get to me. <laughs> So I do still end up being like the argumentative one. Who's that's like, that's what I'm trying to avoid, right? That's what I'm trying to avoid because honestly, you because we live together, we share so many things, and we, we got the time to be talking about everything, right? Yeah. You get to know me more than someone who is spending just a, a small portion of my life. Yeah. Right, yeah. I cannot be expecting from that person to know me fully, right? To the point that they won't, for example, be doing things that I'm gonna be like, "Wow, you really don't know me." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, of course, you know, you don't know me." You know yeah. that's yeah. because I, you know I don't have that time to show you my personality. Yeah, like that, you know. Yeah, and I even I even tell people at work like. I don't talk politics at work. I try not to because I know that my politics are not the same as everybody else's. We do not match, so don't bother talking to me about this. Each time I try to mix my words, it's ended up rock. Yeah. You no, know, it's each time I try to do that, you know, trying to expect a friend that I have in this particular context that, you know, we feel like we we good, right? If I take that friend and Put take them, them in another context. In another context, yeah. it's all the time like end up breaking. Yeah. So it's something that I'm working on and trying to be like, no, no, no. <laughs> Stay in that. You know, I am different thing and my friends are going to be like going with that yeah. way. Like I'm not expecting That's from it. none of my friends to be embracing like all my my it's the life. complication of the world that we're in because everybody's already been indoctrinated in a sense into certain ideas, and so you're better off, like, because because we're a lot of we're kind of countercultural, both of us in a lot of ways, and mm-hmm. so we're better off just assuming that every our our new friends don't share all of our opinions. Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Yes. And and it's it's going to be much more peaceful that way. Yeah. But. Yeah. <laughs> I start to feel like even on my social media, I might be showing. It. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think people do that too, right? I think social media doesn't give you the full picture of who you are. Exactly. If you are following me on this social media, you might be discovering another personality of me that I'm showing there that I'm not showing on an, another social media. It's still me. I think that, you know, we are. The human being, like a person, is can be many things, you know. At the same time, <laughs> what is she, is she sleeping? sleeping? <laughs> Never <laughs> sleeping in the show like that. <laughs> is it even possible? <laughs> Sorry, oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, my love. It just okay, like... I lost it anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you very much it's for just uh, like this weight stopping. In my hands uh, all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for uh, uh, stopping. And um, yeah. watching our uh, conversation regarding friendship. Yeah, we. Uh, I think we covered a lot of ground. Actually, I don't know. I'm obviously we're just people, right? But it's just friendship is a such a big topic it is. as well, it and is. Um, and you can only cover also, so much. Like you can only yeah. like talk about it uh, from a, your angle, right? Like mm. we haven't studied friendship. We're not experts in friendship. We just. <laughs> sharing our views yeah. on that and um and again as um we have said it uh, many times we are growing people right yep this is our views on today 
on this year. So we are on and, you know, share with us what you thought about this conversation or uh, what, what you, how is friendship for you um, and especially in a, in a couple because uh, or in family, you know, um, uh, we all have friends and, uh, you know, we are different people and um, I believe what works for me might not work for uh, somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. what is not working for us now may work if we are discovering other new views on uh, that. We just wanted to share with you what kind, what yeah. is friendship for us and uh, how we do it. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I just think ultimately I think it's fair that men and women can be friends even if they're not in a couple. And Generally, I don't have an issue with that. Some of my best friends have been women. There was never any romantic interest. And we both, we we all just, you know, we worked as friends. Yeah. So. And we can have friends that are not in couple. Yep. And we can have friends even as a couple. We can have friends, a friend who is like. I think in a sense, not we might have. Couple. You know? We we have the advantage of experience here in a case, in a sense, right? Because uh, I, I know we're kind of so, sort of wrapping up, but I just was thinking like because you and I we're both you know adults. We, we were, <laughs> like I'm 47 years old. Mm-hmm. I have many people in my past that are are friends or mm-hmm. have been friends, and you have yeah. many people in your past that are your friends still, mm-hmm. and like. Whether you're closer or not close or what have you, like, you really just got to accept that. Like, you can't, like, get into a couple and then say, hey, by the way, all those friends that you had, you can't talk to them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if some people can do that and it works for them, like, uh, honestly, I'm not judging. Sure, uh, sure. It, yeah, I mean, you know, if it it's works, every, but... everybody does, and especially in a couple, like everybody is free to do well, you get whatever kind of, is working for yeah. them. You do get kind of isolated yeah. as a couple. You, you, you kind of sequester yourselves because you get, you're so interested in your romantic relationship that you don't pay as much attention to your friends, but that doesn't mean they're gone necessarily. No. <clears throat> no. So. Uh, and friends are not meant to be. Uh, like all the time with you, like yeah. as you said, like I have so many friends that I can do even two years without talking to them, yeah. and and when we talk, we just continue from where we were as right. if those two years never existed, and yeah. it's okay, right? Because because that's how life is, right? Yep. Um, yep. Adult life is, right? So thank you very much again. Are we? Done this I time. think we're done. Yes. Okay. No, I have nothing Thank else to Thank you very in. much <laughs> for staying until the end with us. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe. Uh, if um, there is something that catch your attention and you would like to uh, let us know, come in the comments or um, slide in our DM. Where can people find you, love? I am at Skeptical Lefty on all of the uh, social medias. I... I'm giving up the website, though. I, I don't have skepticalleftist.com anymore. Yeah. It's a waste of money. <laughs> Who goes on the website now? We are yeah, on uh, right. social media. It's all social media. So. Yeah, I'm Pamela Kazekari on um, uh, Instagram. And Ikigata Nyakazi. Don't desamangete ngete on X. So, see you next time. Bye.